A couple of weekends ago, my friends and I went into the city for my buddy's birthday, and we were staying at a small hotel. The night we get there, we all head straight to the bar to party until the wee hours. I'm kind of a party pooper, so after a few hours, I tell them I'm going to go back to the hotel and that I'll see them later. At the hotel, I see a woman trying to get her baby carriage up the stairs. That's odd, because there is an elevator. I tell her that I'm going to use the elevator and that maybe it would be easier for her if she did too. She smiles and gets in with a baby carriage. Now, this is not a normal stroller. Like, this is actually like an old-timey carriage. Who even uses one of those anymore? Anyway, it's just us in the elevator as the door is shut in front of us. She says her floor is the third, which is right after mine. There's an awkward silence, but she doesn't seem to mind. She's just smiling at her baby and giggling, fixing the blankets. I thought that was pretty sweet. She's just cooing to the baby softly. I peer inside and see a baby doll. Just a doll. My blood ran cold. The elevator reached the second floor, and I thank Jesus as I step out and head to my room. But as I do so, the woman reaches her hand out and holds the elevator door open. Excuse me, she says. I turn around and see that she has a serious expression on her face. I know you saw him. She said this with an eerie softness. I just smile nervously and continue walking to my room. I hear the elevator doors close as I get the door open. Just to be sure, I check the hall to see if she followed me. She didn't, thank God. Basically noped the rest of the night away, and when I told my friends, they thought it was messed up, but otherwise didn't seem to care. Late one night, I was driving down an almost deserted road in a none-too-savory part of town, where gangsters, car thievery, and muggings are commonplace, when a taxi pulled in too sharply, which forced me to swerve out of its way. I wiped out my entire front tire and had to drive around 300 yards to pull in and be able to see the damage. The situation was bad. Bad enough for me to consider recovery as opposed to me personally carrying out a roadside change, as A, this place was scary and I didn't want to spend too long alone in the open, and B, I'm really quite bad at fixing cars. Anyway, I'm on the phone trying to talk to recovery when a man chaps my window. I roll the window down enough for him to talk, and he says, I've seen what happened there from my house. I'll help you change your car tire if you like. We conversed slightly, and he seemed nice enough, and wasn't the most physically imposing, so I hung up on recovery and we set about a roadside change. One of the wheel nuts was too tight, however, and we had to abort. The guy was starting to become almost pushy when he realized we couldn't get it done, asking me where I was going to leave my car if I couldn't get it recovered. I'm getting slightly defensive at this point, not wanting to give too much away. He then offered to drive my car back to somewhere to park it up if I'd like. I told him I'd hang off and speak to recovery first, and that anywhere the car was going, I'd drive it there myself. Anyway, he sat and waited, spoke to the company, and we decided that I'd leave the car and get it in the daylight when recovery wouldn't have as much of a bad time finding me, and then I'd get a taxi home, reimbursed by my insurance. I figured the car would be able to cover around a mile without running on the rim, which was far enough to get me to some form of Main Street. My weird-slash-helpful-slash-scary friend offered to lead me to his street just off the main road to park. Not knowing the area too well, it was good help, despite the obvious creeps I was feeling, just to find my way to more populated parts. As I'm following the guy, though, I realize I've passed the point of the accident more than a quarter of a mile ago. He said he'd seen it from his house. This didn't make any sense, so my heart started pounding. What did this guy want? I deliberately lost him at the next set of lights and got my car into a more accessible street. A taxi was called, and my car was recovered the next day. How he found out about the accident, when it clearly wasn't what his version of events purported, is what got to me. 
It really made me wonder what would have happened if I had driven to where he had intended.